All right, Mike, I don't know if you're there, but I'm making you this video because uh, I kind of had a little epiphany this morning after Isabel's comment. You know, Isabel doesn't know, if you're there, Isabel, uh, Isabel doesn't know anything about electronic callers, but she's an intelligent person and she can see what's going on. And it kind of made me realize for these people to dismiss my work, it's their work that suffers, not mine. The, the chance of me saying, they all do the constants, so I'll do it too, because I want them to like me. And I see that their work has much more technical validity than, that's not gonna happen. It isn't gonna happen, and if you said you're not forming a, uh, a chasm between your work and theirs, the hell I'm not. Juxtapose it, juxtapose the work. Go get their best recall, my best recall. Go get their best trainer. You know, it's, it, it's their work that's suffering, and it's your work that's gonna suffer, Hi, Anthony. Not your work, Anthony. I know you're, you believe in this work. And I do understand there's only a certain percentage of people. And if you said, what do they have to have? A certain level of intelligence and an open mind. That's the only two things they need to have. A certain level of intelligence and an open mind. You know, that's the only thing you have to have to be able to understand this. Because if you said you are not breaking it down, the reality is, Kelly, you're going to have to face the fact that these people have got a lot more detail, a lot more technical merit to their, they don't have any, they don't have any. And for them to actually look at this work and say, I don't see anything here. I don't see speed. I, I don't see animation. I, I don't see these dogs reacting to this pager. It looks like it's freaking them out. You know, the, to dismiss it that quickly, just that flippantly, I guess, is what bothers me. It freaks them out. Don't use it. And the people believe that. It's, you know, it's ridiculous. It's, you know, I think, it, I, I understand where social media has an effect on this. We want to be able to go on the chat board and say, I use constant too. Because constant has not in the last 20 or no, since 1981. Somebody tell me how many years that was. Uh, no, you need more sleep. I hear you, Anthony. These, I can't even make a move. I have to stay in bed frozen. If I try to move at all, they all wake up. It's awful. <laughs> Crash this morning was decided to chew the, the uh, wood, uh, you know, the, the footboard of the bad thing. So luckily all my wood has sort of a destroyed look anyway. That's the kind of furniture I buy. It already looks destroyed. So when they chew on they chew on <laughs> Anyway, that's what I want you guys to think of. It isn't my work that's suffering. If anything, the, and you know, that's just what I wanted to tell Mike. We're done trying to because if you said us trying to convince Adam Spivey, Jeff Gelman, all these people that this work is, who cares? Who cares? Let their work suffer. I, I honestly don't care. I care about finding untainted people who have a certain level of intelligence and an open mind who are interested in technical training. Because this is as technical of companion dog training as you're going to get. And if you said, why? Because it's incorporating tech more than any other training is. And if you said, no, everybody's using pagers on puppies. Not that I've seen. They're just not even exploring these options. You know, so if you said your work is very, very unoriginal, your work has no technical merit, it isn't valid. None of those things are true. The fact that these people don't want to admit some girl developed something while we knew everything about dogs, and while we were asleep, this girl was at her house busting her ass developing this shit for the last 20 years. They don't want to admit that, and I can understand that. You know, and if you want to say to me, you don't know anything about constant, it is, we have only scratched the surface of what can be done with constant. Since 1981? You know, then where is it? Where is it, if, if that's the truth? Because I can't see anything but just the most awful word. That, you know, you can't, you're going to lose me the second I see you rubbing this thing's head as, and thinking that's a reward. That's the problem. That's the problem. So you're not going to convince me. I don't see anything. If, if there is any technical, you know, with this training, how can you?
can you not have technical terms? How can your recall not be technical? I don't understand that. If you're using an e-call, any e-caller expert will tell you that e-caller training has very technical aspects, and the absence of that means it's not valid training. Mark will tell you that. It's got to have technical aspects, or it isn't valid. And so that's what people don't seem to understand. And if you want to say, I am out there working on developing constant, I say my heart breaks for you because I have been there. I have done that. And it hurts that what you say, if you say, what's the difference between the patron and the constant, the constant hurts. <laughs> I'm not on the lowest level. They can barely feel it. Then that's a terrible thing too. If it's so low, they can barely feel it. If you give me something so low, I can barely feel it. I'd be sitting there saying to you all the time, I didn't even feel it. <laughs> you know, what do you mean? You've got to be more clear. I didn't even, you know, or like somebody that mumbles, you know, you guys are probably all like, you're a mumbler. People do say that to me. I can't understand you. It's my Midwestern accent, you know, but if you said, well, the signals are very, very, very subtle. I don't like subtle signals. I like great big. I'm landing a jet here, dog. Boom. You know. So for people to, and you know, if you said it's, your work won't be discovered for another 20 years, I'll stick and stay and make it pay. I'll be dead by then, but you know, I don't care. You know, I, if you say these people have more of a passion and more of a commitment to developing with the electric collar, not that I've seen, what I see them doing is a fractured version of the method that was developed in the early 90s. And if you need me to get Phyllis Dobbs to tell you guys that that work is not anywhere near, that that work isn't valid at all. In fact, don't even, don't even involve me because if they hear my name, they've known me for 30 years. Just go get one of the videos and email it to Dobbs and say, uh, Yes, I'm, I'm being told that these people, uh, that they are saying they've improved on your, uh, you know, I don't even taint it like that. Just say, am I wrong in understanding that this is the method you developed? <laughs> At which point they'll say, uh, Jim and Phyllis are very, very intellectual. Their answer would be, no. You know, they, they're, not, they're not emotional laden people. That's why they're so good. They both have degrees in behavioral science, masters. They're very non-emotional, and that's how you have to be. And that's when people, once you start adding emotion, if you said, tell me how the world works, the one who's the least emotionally invested has the power. If you said, I just landed on Earth, help me understand how to get by in this world, he who has the least emotional investment has the power. Because once you're emotionally invested, all is lost. That's, that's, that's what it is. And that's what the petting is. I understand that now, Mike. That's what the petting is. It's an emotion-laced behavior that they feel equals love. Okay, so that's not going to work on chickens and shit, though, because they don't want love. And it's not going to work at a distance because unless you can throw love out of your hand, you're not going to be doing any distance work. And if you said, what's the e-collar designed for distance work? You know, work away from the handler. Because if you said, I, I can look at, you know, these videos of, you know, this Sean O'Shea, which I don't know why. I just have a, just a personal hatred for this guy because he's so bad. Uh, and Chelsea hates him too. So I, and Chelsea needs me to hate him. That's who I am in Chelsea's life. Um, you know, <laughs> I, that's just the conclusion I came to. I've given up. I'm not going to mention these people anymore. But it's their work that's suffering. It's their work that's suffering. And meanwhile, in Florida, you know, I'm here figuring out even more ways to do it. Because I understand we don't know everything there is to know about this. And there's kind of a scary aspect to it. As far as them, if you said animals and all beings vibrate at a certain frequency, I'd say that's true from a scientific viewpoint. And dogs are vibrating at a higher frequency. And humans are, and that's why they, it never matches up, but you can somehow bridge the gap. I'd say, tell me more. I would say, tell me more, not, where's my constant? I'm going to go stim it. <laughs> you know, if you're a serious and you really care about more than just going on a chat board every day and winning the approval of losers, uh, 
you and if you your work really because I don't go on chat boards I do but they throw me off after the first day so I've already exhausted every single chat board <laughs> Anthony knows that's how I met Anthony I said this guy's different there's not very many people like this guy you know and that and that's how you who you guys have to be not a lemming not a lemming I'm gonna go to STEM school and I'm gonna graduate from STEM school because I have researched and I have looked at this pager work compared to this stimmer work, and it's not valid. It isn't valid. Anything that this woman is doing with this pager can easily be duplicated because that's what I see when I see their work. Anything these people are doing can be easily duplicated with a rope. Give me a fucking rope. Give me a freaking... Any piece of rope, and I'll duplicate what these people are doing. You know, they don't have any food. Give me some food and a piece of rope. I can <laughs> duplicate any of their exercises and make it look better. So you guys need to decide, am I going to set myself apart? You know, am I going to step up? And that's why I unfriended that girl, Cher. This girl's, the most important thing to her was that everybody knew she didn't follow anybody. And she was a self-made trainer and made sure and said, I'm not the reflection of anybody's work. And I was just like, oh my God, I helped that girl so much, you know, and never shared one of my videos, never did anything. So to me, there's hundreds of people like that. You can find that kind of loyalty anywhere. You know, that's why I'll never forget you, Anthony. You, I'll never, ever. I'll go to my grave and I'll say that guy was, that guy was different. And that's who you have to be to the dog. That's what I want you guys to understand. That video I posted, that dog, Max, that dog was like eight years old. The only reason I took it for training, they had spent like $4,000 to have this thing's knee fixed. The rescue did. The rescue did. Not telling these people, uh, by the by, it's dysplastic as a mofo. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, you know, now do I want to just tell these people? And Carol's very, very dear to me. Do I want to just tell them it needs to die now because there's nothing I can do to make it better? Even though, and so, and you're just going to have to just, here's a great big plate of crow that you're going to have to eat because you spent all this money fixing this thing's knee and rehabbing, albeit its hips are uh, on the verge of suffering a pathological dislocation. So that's why I took the dog and trained it. You know, and you saw what I did. I mean, and if I would have got a pinch collar and started jerking it, I guarantee what the result would have been. It would have started attacking me too. And if you said, well, I'd fight it off, it was big. <laughs> that thing was big. I'm not about fighting off any dogs. If you said, what do we need to do? We need to get tech and psychologically manipulate dogs because that's a very successful methodology that's going to pers that's going to persist when they go home. And I think, you know, Anthony, we're companion dog trainers. <sighs> and that's our job is to have behaviors that persist. That when the people bring it back, and I want you to look for a farm or something, Anthony. I want you to get a place, start out with just six kennels or something, and just get where you can be like me. And just stay at your house, not have to go to people's house, and practice your craft. Because what if you said, what do you do on a daily basis? I practice my craft. You know, that's what I do on a daily basis. So, you know, you've got to have the ability to do that without these owners present. Oh, uh, the great Dana Weinbrenner coming back, too. Yeah, that's what you got to do, Anthony. So anyway, guys, you, you, you've got to say to yourself, if I'm a craftsman and I want to get tech, do I really want to start out 20-something years ago? And uh, what is this woman's problem that she seems so invested in this pager? Is, you know, I, and that's what I said two years ago or whenever it was. I, I, I put a post, I'm off the reservation and running rogue. In other words, you're a target. <laughs> In other words, you're a target. <laughs> you know, I'm going to come at you and nobody's going to stop me. You know, not that, you know, I was so mean to dog when I was with them. I, you know, they were glad to be rid of me. I was terrible. I told them every day, you're awful. You're awful. You don't know anything. You don't even have a dog. They don't. So, you know, you can't practice your craft. You've got to have dogs to practice on. And you've got to look at what your heart tells you to do. If your heart tells you, I want constant, I feel dogs want constant, and I feel clients are more than comfortable with constant, and I feel the people that are against constant, this woman, uh, and all the positive people and people that don't know anything also think it's a shot caller. I 
I'm going against all that. God, stop it. That's ridiculous. You know, you can't do puppy work. If you said these people's puppy work with constant is, I'd say they put constant on puppies. <laughs> you know, that's what I would say. That's pretty sick. Robin McFarland made a video using the nick as a prompt on a puppy. You're, you're sick, lady. You're sick. You're a sick son of a bitch that you're going to hit a puppy with Nick that you have so little understanding of science, and I don't have that much understanding of science, but I have enough understanding of science to know different things are going to affect things in a different way. So I understand that the way constant affects them is going to have more of a breaking effect. It's not going to have a jettison effect, and I don't think I understood that about the pager in the beginning either. I mean, how could I have? How could I? I did not understand in the beginning the pager had a jettison effect. You know, and you could do that with constant because those bird dog guys do it. But you better have a Maserati and you better know how to drive it. You know, if you do, then go get it. You know, if you got your Maserati and if you said that, what's that? Um, a dog bred 333 three, three, three on Evan Starlene Mac. <laughs> Mark knows what I'm talking about. 333 three, three, three. <laughs> on Evan Starlee Mac. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm going to go out there and do some work, but that's what you have to decide. You know, uh, if, if you're going to understand the validity of this work, the only option, honestly, is to dismiss the validity of any work done with constant. It's, it's the truth. And that's why I can't, you know, and I was, my father was a Lieutenant Colonel in the Air Force. He was a pilot. I, was lived, I suppose I understand that now. There was a credo of fierce loyalty. Anthony, yeah, Anthony's in the army, he knows. That was just the credo. I didn't understand that there was anything other than that, I suppose. And so once I understood there was something other than that, that when I do recognize fierce loyalty, you know, you're not, you don't want anything. Once you've had that, you know, and that's why when people don't have any loyalty, you do need to cut them out of your life right away. Not be like me and just let them keep taking advantage of you. <laughs> you know, keep them taking advantage of you. Just cut them out of your life. Um, because you're, you're not going to be happy. I mean, you, the, once you know fierce loyalty, there isn't any other kind. So, and, I, and I'm not asking you to be loyal to me. I would ask you to be commit to this work. You know, that would be say more to me because... It's your work that's going to improve. If you say we took what you did with the pager and I got them even faster and doing all these other things, I would say, really, I, did I help you? I helped you? Oh, I'd be so happy, you know, because people don't tell me that. I don't, half the time, I don't know who these people are. I don't, you know, they don't like the videos. I don't know if they're a friend or a foe. I'm very suspicious. Anyway, you guys, I've got to go. I wanted to mention one thing, though. There was a guy over in Ponce Inlet, Barbia. That's where Barbie and Fred and all of them live. I think Fred owns half a punch in. Uh, and this guy beat this, his beat the dog to death. Yeah, I mean, scary. But one thing we have to understand, men beat women to death every day. And I understand these people are very, very upset, but they're forming this terrifying cyber lynch mob. One guy is planning on getting, doing a minor offense so that he can get thrown in jail and do a list of things this long to the guy involving kicking various body parts. And, and I'm like, okay, nobody finds the fact that this guy's willing to go into this level of detail about violence scary. They're all cheering him on. Yeah, go get thrown in jail and get indicted and go de to death row. You know, it's like, do you have any other causes that you're this against? You know what I mean? It's, it's scary. These cyber lunch mobs are terrifying. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go out there and do some serious training. And Anthony, I don't have my glasses because I'm going to tell you, this is Crash bringing me a plastic bag. I don't have a moment's peace. If you said, where's your glasses, lady? Crash ate them. <laughs> anyway, Anthony, so I want you guys to get out there and, and take a serious look at this work and be able to say what I want to be able to do with dogs is affect a permanent behavior change. If you said what I want to do with dogs is affect a permanent behavior change then I would say this is the way to go because the caveats are non-existent, almost non-existent. Whereas with 
constant. They're huge and looming. <laughs> huge and looming. I could theoretically go out there with constant as an expert with these collars. And if you said, I'm going to bring to you a panel of people that are going to say you're not an expert with e-collars, I'd laugh and laugh. Uh, if you do not believe as an expert, I could go out there and accidentally start ruining dogs with constant. You're wrong. I could. And if you said, why? Because I'm a human being. That's why. And that's why they call it an accident. You know what I mean? That's why they call it an accident. You know, and I mean, if you said, what's, what would be an intentional? I'll tell you what's intentional. The blowback from constant is well documented and that these people don't place any validity on that is, is what's scary to me. That it's that scary to me. For them to say, she doesn't know anything. We know more about constant and its physiological effect and I'm basing it, and, and I know you are too, Anthony. This is Crash bringing me some scissors. Uh, you know, on Dr. Tortora. I'm not even sure what kind of doctor he was. I think he was a behavioral scientist, but he did understand physiology. Um, and that's, that's what it's doing. So that's what my problem is. But it's, it's their work that's suffering. I'm going to continue to keep developing because I feel like I'm only scratching the surface. I feel like even by next year, if I can live that long, I will be have to be even doing more stuff because I've got these little itty bitty puppies that I've got that are two weeks old. And if you said, what is your plan with them? I'm going to get Greg's cold collar and I'm going to take the strap off it and I'm going to put it in there when they're sleeping and I'm going to start vibrating it before the mother comes in there to see if I can somehow imprint the vibration on them even more, even more so that I can develop that Billy Joe Armstrong effect. Because if you said that's what your indifference and that is what's causing these dogs that you raise to just be like they can't get enough of you, I think I, I don't think it's I, I know that the pager is helping me get that because they're just it comes crash with the remote. They're saying to themselves, this thing is really, really easy to understand. Not, and this is what I want you to understand. There's always going to be, even in a relationship with another person, there's always going to be certain things that they do or whatever that you don't understand. I think what you have to say your goal with the dog is, is to make more them understand more the part that they understand larger than the part of us, the things that we do that they don't understand. They don't understand what this going down the road driving a car is. They, you know, they've got a cursory understanding of certain things. And with people too, you don't understand why they do certain things and you just, you don't even try. You just let them do it. So with the dog, if you said, well, I want to make the part that they do understand me crystal freaking clear. I'd say I've got, <laughs> got some ideas. Let's take organic communication in the form of vibrational communication and show this dog real fast. I am smarter than you. Because when people sit there and say, oh, it's smarter than we are, it gets out, it does all that. Look at Barkley. They just had that video of that dog that opened the door and escaped from a vet clinic. That was Barkley. How he'd open any doors. If you locked him in the house, he would just go around and open closet, bathroom doors, anything, just to open a door, just to look behind the door, just to see if that was a possible escape route. So the reality is if this, you know, these dogs are smarter than these people. We, yeah, that's not good. So be... Be Billy Joe Armstrong. I'm getting ready to go out there now because Crash is just bugging the crap out of me. I'm going out there to uh, do Crash and her little search thing, so stay tuned, you guys. And I'm Anthony. I'm going to find my glasses and read your comments. Hello, Jill. And don't worry, Wilson's on the, Wilson's on the list. I'm going out there right now. I'll see you guys in a sec.